<clears throat> hey you guys welcome back to my channel I have a something special for you today I been looking for a box for my car and I finally found it it's right here and I want to share what's in here with you guys because <laughs> I think you'll I think you'll like it so Let's get into this box, shall we? Hi, I'm Kathy, your, uh, your flip side friend. If you've reached this video, you're probably on my flip side. So the first thing I'm pulling out of here looks like something I had from a Halloween costume. And it's this furry little owl. I think it's an owl. I bought it because I thought it was cute. And I probably had it stuck in my car somewhere. So we'll just put it aside. It's still early in the morning, so I'm working on my first coffee of the day. Timmy's not sponsored. Sponsor me, please. Send me free coffee, Tim. Except a secret is I don't really like Tim Horton's coffee, and it's actually my own home coffee in there. So... Ooh, next I've got some bubble wrap. That was probably in there just keeping the things safe. What else? <clears throat> Pictures of my daughter. Not sure what grade that is. Her shirt says local, local celebrity. I think it's probably my shirt. The next thing is an obituary from a really good friend of mine passed away. I have so many weird things in here. Uh, a concert that I went to that's a good friend of mine, Andrea Romolo. I suggest if you're into folk indie music, go check her out. She's won a, a couple of Canadian Juno Awards. The next thing is a sticker. I'm native, so this is my smile sticker. With some of these, these are covers for CDs to keep them safe. Here's one right here. And they just, I'm glad I found this because I have a CD player in my car and they just go on like that and slide right in and it keeps your CD from getting scratched. So I have a couple of those. Here's another one with that Andrea Romolo CD. And there's the signed copy from that. And it says, Kath, you're the best. XOX Andrea. I was kind of standing her for a while. I just, I love her music very folky and my memory is super bad so I write things down notepad can you keep up baby boy nothing wrong with living low feeling high I'm better at breaking rules than following them need to pick me up put a phone book on your chair Today will be a lighter, brighter day. Just little notes to myself. 
You got it, but it ain't what I need. Find me someone just like me. No, no, I love you, Jade. What's this? Oh, my daughter. My daughter, Lavender. Little cutie. Little cutie. Some things I don't understand why I have in here. This candle with some shells in it that's a hundred years old that I literally need to throw away. This broken mirror that was meant for looking. See, there's a mirror so you can see. It goes in there somehow. So you can stick it like in a corner and see everything all in your room or your car. That's where I had it. it was in my car. A little devil. This weird one eyed monster that was in my car. Like that. When the eye moves, I think the eye does something. It sits like that in your car. I'm so excited to find these things. This weird dirty duck. Don't know why I have a weird dirty duck. And now we're getting to a couple of my skulls. I painted it pink. I'm a skull collector. I think that this, there's teeth. I think this is a little kitty. I think it's a cat. And another one, I'm not sure. I think this might be, somebody told me what it was. I know it's a very strange thing to collect, but that's what I collect. Some people collect cars. I collect skulls. And some buttons. Lucky number seven, stir stick. I think I got that from a casino. Another button. The very important button. Now, we're at my, I had this in the middle hanging from my mirror. So when the sun hit on it, the whole car lit up like a disco ball. Hippie girl at its finest, right? And this is a connector for your music. A desert flower. It's just a dead flower.
very prickly flower. Okay, now we're at my, um, what do you call those things? My voodoo men. This one is, um, I think he's a ninja. And that one is just nothing, faceless. And of course, my peace sign. So those are more things I had dangling, probably from a holy shit grip somewhere. And then I had this little lizard just sitting on the dashboard. And I found this porcupine quill that I kept. Don't ask me why. I'm a keeper. I just keep things. Another dead flower. I think this one's a little sunflower. Just a baby little sunflower. A Volkswagen sign, metal sign. It must be off of a Volkswagen somewhere peeled off and I found it and kept it. This is an old belt buckle that I had and broke and I just kept it because I liked it. And it's from 1970 from Pyramid Belt Corporation Incorporate, New York, New York. Couple things left. Zombie crossing. I probably had that on the dashboard. A Snoopy pin. That's not Snoopy, that's Woodstock. Woodstock pin. I need a drink break, I've been talking. This was just in my car so people didn't forget who I was. And that's just my last name. I am Brash. A couple of spent bullets. That's a rifle, I think. And this one is a shotgun. I collect spent bullets. I don't know why probably a gun obsession that I have. I'm sure if I lived in the States, I'd have every kind of gun I could own, but I'm Canadian and you need an FAC and I'm a nutcase. So I would probably be denied a gun. Somebody would be dead if I had a gun. No offense, but somebody would be. A wooden pen, it's broken. So I don't know why I keep it still right? Is it still right? Nope, it's broken. I don't know why I kept it. Probably just because it's recycled and it's interesting. The very last thing I have in here, and this is the reason why I've been looking for this, to put it back in my car, is this. <laughs> Let me know if you're here, if you're to hear in this video, let me know if you would put a Ouija board in your car. There's no placard, so it's not like the Ouija board is just going to come alive in my car. But let me know if you're brave enough to put a Ouija board in your car or if you think it's just hogwash superstitions. I, I just don't care either way. I believe in spirits, so it's a Ouija board that's going in my car, on the dashboard. So that is everything that is in that box. The box is empty now. So that's all the things that were in that box. Interesting things, strange things. I have other box that I want to show you guys. <clears throat> it's
that's just right down here beside me. A couple more things. This box right here. It kind of goes with the stuff that's in that box. Because like I told you, I'm a skull collector. Here is a really cool piece of coral that I bought, which I think now are illegal to own. I'm not sure, but it's like a brain coral. It looks like a brain inside and there's shells that are trapped in there there could be could there could be other things trapped in there but I'm not pulling it apart to find out here are some butterflies and stuff that I've been trying to preserve in a, a moth. There's the moth. A moth man. Moth man. The moth man. And the butterflies that I have, I gotta reset them because they've been packed away for a long time and they're not really doing very well in there. I've moved a couple of times and I haven't really been comfortable enough to reset my house up so I still kind of live out of boxes. But here is another skull that I have. This one's a bear skull. You see the, the brain has been hollowed out. And the ears are right, uh, where, right there, I think. Somewhere. This is what a bear skull looks like. I don't, there's some, some teeth here one big tooth there and the other tooth must be in this box somewhere that what that skull's been bleached and i've had it for probably 12 years now there's lots of skulls in this box so maybe i should do a whole video on my skulls. Here's a fish bone skull. Here's some hermit crab skeletons. very strange animal. Oh, my daughter used to have hermit crabs and they're very, very strange. This, I believe, I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to bring it outside and clean it because very dirty. Very dirty. Don't know what that one is. I'm a skull collector, so when people find skulls or anything, they keep them for me and give them to me. But who knew that a fish looked like that? I got another fish in here. I think it's a catfish weirdest looking thing. I mean, it's so bizarre looking. Okay. 
here's another one. I think that this is a cat too. I painted it yellow. There, if any of them are painted, I painted them. I have a horse head and a cow skull. They're big, they're in my storage unit. They're big skulls. What's this one? This is a deer skull. I stuck that eyeball in there. <laughs> there was one on that side too, but it must have fell out. And teeth. That's what deer teeth look like. A deer skull. Funny I collect stuff like this, but I'm afraid of what hides in the dark. Dead things don't bother me, it's the living things that do. This one's pretty neat. This one, it's a cat and it still has some skin attached to it. See that? Flesh. And there's a little tooth, some more little teeth back there. That was just a little, a baby cat, I think. Oh, this might be the, f no, I want to find the fish. Because it's the weirdest looking thing. There it is. Is that not the weirdest looking thing? And it still has skin on it or scales or whatever you want to say. Shriveled up, dried up. I think it's a catfish, but it might be a muskie. I don't know. I don't know why I keep these things. I'm a skull collector. I collect bones. What is in here? A jaw. A jawbone. I think that this is what I found in an abandoned house one day when I was searching for it, through it. A jawbone and teeth. Little, little teeth. Yeah. So after that, I kind of halted on the abandoned house hunting. Just, it kind of freaked me out to find a set of human teeth in the jaw. So I was like, uh, maybe I shouldn't really be going house hunting by myself. This is a baby mouse head. Little baby mouse. You can see the little teeth there, or a rat. You can see the teeth on it. Sorry if that was blurry. What's this one? Hmm. I think that this is a joint. Could be. A hip, a 
knee. Not too sure. Let me know if you know. It's a bone for something. Two left and we're done. This one, I've had this one for a long time. Not entirely sure what it is. It's still got teeth in there. It's an animal of some kind. The brain has been removed. It's clear in there. This is what that one looks like. We're on the last one, last one in this box. One more actually, I didn't realize that this little baby one was in here. This little baby. Again, not sure what it is, it could be a cat. There's the, the little teeth that are on it. Just one more. This little, little one, not sure. That's a tooth. So this could be a cat too. I don't think it's a cat. The face is not right for a cat. And the tooth. The tooth is, maybe it's a rabbit. Anyways, that is my skull collection. I just want to show you guys these hermit crabs again, because I find them so very, very weird. I don't know if anybody has ever owned a hermit crab, but they are like the weirdest pet that somebody could want. They used to creep me out all the time. So that is my skull collection. I've been wanting to show you guys that for a while now. Maybe you guys are not interested in that, but I love it. I find them... I love oddities. I could just go to go to an oddity store and hang out there all friggin' day. I find it just so amazing. But different strokes for different folks, right? That's what they say. If you liked this video, leave me a comment, like, share, subscribe. And if you didn't like it, Send it to your haters, and that's two minutes of their life that they will never get back. You can find me on my socials, on Instagram, it's katiecat077, and on Twitter, it's just brash number one. Just brash number one. I don't think it's underscore, I can't remember. Hope you're having a great day, and I will... See you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.